Hello, everyone. This is Cruella, your favorite villain, I'm sure. Now, I've decided that I should be doing a story time. And of course, the story time is going to be about me. Of course, I am Cruella, so why wouldn't it be about me? I am my favorite villain. <laughs> now, sometimes Cruella, when she does read, needs a little help with glasses to make sure that she can read everything properly. Because, you know, Cruella does not do anything halfway. So it's going to be our little secret. Now, the story will be in the third person. I'm going to show you and tell you how I met my two assistants. Let's call them that, Horace and Jasper. It's quite an interesting story. And it's called Coop at the Zoo. Let's get started, shall we? What? Cruella barked into her phone late one night. A smooth voice came over the line. Ma'am, Horace is the name. Me and my best mate Jasper here would be honored to be your humble crooks. Cruella grinned. Not the type to get her hands dirty, but with much dirty work to do, she had put an ad in the paper in hopes of finding henchmen. It appeared she had her first candidates. Splendid! Meet me tomorrow at the local inn. Eight o'clock, sharp. The next night, Cruella sped off to interview the two hopefuls. As she scanned the room, a ruckus erupted. It was my smarts we used to scan this hot meal, and for some reason it's in your mouth. You wouldn't know smarts if they fell from the sky and hit your big head. Cruella smiled, recognizing one of the voices. Cruella walked over to the bickering men. Enough, she said. And right away, they both fell silent. Darlings, I'm Cruella de Vil. A pleasure, I'm sure. If you'd like to become my new assistants, you must convince me that you're a good fit. I'd like for you to steal an animal from the new zoo. Can you do it? She jingled her purse for added effect, and the crooks eyed it with wild hunger. Just tell us when and we'll be there, Jasper said. Horace nodded along eagerly. Excellent. We'll meet tomorrow at dusk at Regent's Park. The next evening, Cruella met Horace and Jasper outside the soon-to-be-open London Zoo. Get in there and quickly. Yes, ma'am. Which animal do you fancy we'd fetch for you, Miss Dev? Mr. Ville? Horace hollered. Not so loud, Cruella scolded. That one. She jabbed her finger at a newspaper photo of a polar bear. This'll be easy, man, whispered Jacker. Like taking babies from a candle, he nodded confidently. Be right back. All right now, easy does it, Jasper guided Horace, who was working a large net into the sleeping polar bear's cage. But it turned out the animal was in no mood to be bear-napped. You just had to wake him up, didn't you? Jasper shouted at Horace as they made a hasty retreat. Well, you wasn't exactly quiet yourself, Horace shot back. Cruella turned crimson when she saw the duo without her promised prize. You cowards, she sputtered. Oh, we're sorry, ma'am, Horace said. What about a smaller animal? A cheetah, perhaps? Cruella glared at them. Finally, she sighed. Oh, I do have a soft spot for, well, spots. <laughs> she cackled, then quickly scowled at the two men. All right, a cheetah, and I'm coming with you this time to make sure you don't mess it up. But the cheetah was too fast for the slow-witted crooks, and when Horace and Jasper failed to steal a lion next, Cruella grew even more furious. When they failed at achieving an elephant, and to even taking that, Cruella's eyes began to twitch. I hate when my eyes start to twitch. It seemed clear as day that Horace and Jasper did not have what it take to cook, but Cruella was willing to give them one final shot. Try, oh, just try stealing one of the more docile little beasts, she instructed them. Do it, and do it now. Horace and Jasper wasted no time breaking into the children's petting zoo. We've got this one in the can, mate, 
Jasper said to Horace as they sauntered into the animal pens. But then the baby llamas spit in their faces. The piglets chased them into the mud and the ducklings pecked at them in the pond. Outside the petting zoo, Cruella was growing more and more impatient. You just can't get good help nowadays. Suddenly, the men appeared and they ran right past her. Stampede! yelled Jasper. Run! shouted Horace. Cruella craned her neck to see the massive beast that had inspired such terror in her would be underlings. But all that scampered into view were fuzzy ducklings, muddy piglets, sweet baby llamas, and bleeding baby goats. Ugh. Cruella boiled over, realizing that Horace and Jasper must have accidentally released the petting zoo animals. Idiots! she yelled. She'd had enough of Horace and Jasper's hijinks. You complete imbeciles, she shouted as they ran past her again. She looked around. Oh, what an utter disaster. Were these really the best henchmen she could find? Cruella would have to do everything herself, like I always do. One beastly animal she could have gotten away with, but she didn't want the police on high alert because someone had stolen the entire children's petting zoo. I'll handle this, she grumbled. She retrieved her car and corralled all the animals back into their cages and pens, eventually. My car is filthy. You are good for nothing. You can't even clean up your own mess. Didn't I mention I hate getting my hands dirty? Cruella roared at Horace and Jasper. This is the last time I ever work with you, you idiots, Horace suggested. Complete imbeciles, Jasper offered. Shut up, Cruella screamed. The men flinched. Cruella was fuming. She stomped off into the night. Horace and Jasper looked at each other and shrugged, thinking of how they could make it up to Cruella. <sighs> and they needed to as well. Can you imagine not even finding good henchmen? <sighs> A little while later, Cruella sagged up the stairs to her room at the manor. She opened the door and her jaw dropped. Her bedroom had been completely transformed. The furniture had all been uncovered and everything sparkled like new. Just then, there was a tap on her door. Horace and Jasper were standing in the hallway. Now you don't have to get your hands any dirtier than they are. Horace burst out triumphant. We can't fix up our own messes, but we sure could fix up yours, ma'am, added Jasper. <sighs> you did, didn't you? Well, you did a rather mediocre job, but Cruella couldn't fight the smile. <laughs> it is kind of nice to have company here. It can get a bit lonely sometimes. Okay, fine. I'll have you two as my assistants. Horace and Jasper cheered as Cruella flopped down on her newly made bed, dirt and all. Now let's see if your bacon is better than your thieving. And that, my friends, is how Cruella found her henchmen. But Cruella is always looking for more. So if you want to apply for the job, just let me know. Oh, and if you have puppies... That would be even better. Ta-ta for now. Bye-bye.